Today uh, we have our Don Feila, Legend of MLM, uh, and we have a before Christmas uh, meeting. Maybe it will be a little bit shorter. However, uh, Don have probably very nice uh, information for you about how to own your life. <laughs> Don, the stage is yours, please. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, please. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm not going to be mentioning any company or products. We keep uh, this thing neutral. Uh, but I will tell you this, that I started with the company I'm in now for uh, about 25 years ago by sponsoring four distributors. And those four distributors have grown to over 1,400,000. And 95% of all those distributors came th from the original four. So that's got to tell you something right up front. Hey, you don't have to recruit. Note the word recruit. A lot of people to build a large organization. What you need to do is sponsor and teach people to duplicate. Now, if you're new and you don't know what duplicating means, it simply means that when you sponsor someone, you help them go three or four more levels deep. If you don't duplicate, you will never ever uh, build a large business. Now, we have an analogy here that it's napkin presentation for, from number four from my book, which uh, basically tells you that your business should look like the biggest building you've ever seen in your life. And that building represents huge income. But see, you cannot see the building and you cannot see the huge income until you do the foundation for the building. And to build a large building, <laughs> you gotta be a foundation deep and that's what happens when you duplicate. Now, here's what's happening in the industry. You have a non-sales type who will recruit a salesperson thinking they're gonna get rich because they can bring in <clears throat> a lot of people, which they can. They can uh, literally recruit 50 to 100 people in six months to a year. But see, at the end of the year, <laughs> they haven't duplicated themselves one time. So when that happens now, you know, they think there's something wrong with the, well, they're losing people faster than they can add them. So they think there's something wrong with the company, the product, the marketing plan, their sponsor, whatever. But someone shows them another hot program. So they're off to the races now in the new, new hot program, okay? So guess what happens after a year with their new program? Same thing, no duplication. Now they're off to their next hot program. And this can go on, gosh, you're going to run into people, been in two, three, four or more programs. And when you do, just let them know that they did not fail in network marketing because they never did network marketing. Uh, they did sales and sales does not work. And you're going to understand that more as we go here. So anyway, I want to tell you a quick story about a person by the name of Jimmy the Butcher Smith. He was cutting meat as a butcher for like 42 years. And um, he had to retire because of a back injury. Now he got into network marketing, said he loved network marketing, but he didn't do network marketing. He did sales, okay? Never made a lot of money. So anyway, he was in 10 different programs over a period of 10 years, came across my training material, he learned that we do not recruit people to sell, but we sponsor and teach people to duplicate. He was 52 at that time. And when he got to be uh, 70, uh, he was worth 35 million. And when he got to 92, he was worth 90 million. And we have a recording of an interview he did with Eric Worre, where he mentions me a couple of times and that I'm 100% responsible for his success. Another quick testimony from a guy by the name of Jordan Adler, <laughs> actually in the business for 11 years. Never could sponsor anybody because he kept trying to recruit people to sell. And, you know, 95% of the people want nothing to do with selling. Uh, anyway, he came across my book actually in a garage sale. He, had, he bought it for 25 cents. And he's now a multi, multi millionaire. Now, 100% of the people in the world who are not in network marketing 
do not understand it. 80 to 90% of the people who are in it don't understand it. And you'd be amazed how many company owners don't understand it. So anyway, uh, that's why my book now is sold over 11 million copies. It's in all the major languages. Because see, when people read it, they understand it. And then we coined the phrase that now they know how to drive. And you'll understand that a little bit more in a few minutes. So anyway, um, what I want to do now is talk about your market. If you think that you are selling hot health products and so forth, you have a very, very small market. See, basically, 100% of the people people, or excuse me, 15% of the people in the world are either uh, sick, health, or in, uh, into health, sick, hurt, or into health. And um, so if you think you're, you know, you're selling to health, people into health, you actually have a market of 8%. Anybody that would argue that I say, well, you know, just um, uh, look at your supermarkets in town, and then look at your, you know, health food stores in town, you won't, you won't have 8%. So that's what's happening in the industry is that, you know, people are looking for people that don't even care about what you got to say about health, okay? Small market. Now, another problem is you got a lot of competition. As I already said that, you know, 80, 90% of the people don't understand it. And they're actually looking for those, those that small percentage of people that uh, very small percent of people that want to sell. In fact, all these new companies that are starting, and there's like 2,000 new companies now and more starting all the time, they all make the same mistake that would cause them to fail within their first two years. They recruit a sales manager. <laughs> Why would you recruit a sales manager when you're not in sales? Well, there's two reasons they do. Okay, most of these companies are started by salespeople and they don't understand network marketing. So they recruit a sales manager to recruit people to sell their products. And when they do that, you know, there's no way that they're going to make it. And 90% of them will be out of business before two years. Okay, now, small market, a lot of competition. Here comes the biggest problem. 95% of the people want nothing to do with selling. On the news here in America a few months back, they were talking about it and said there are only 4.7% of the people uh, in America want anything to do with selling. So it'll give you something to think about. You've got 95% of the people in network marketing looking for the 4% of the people who can't make it. Now, when I say they can't make it, a salesperson, if you know some people in sales, can be huge under two conditions. They got to forget about sales and learn network marketing because you know they don't they don't understand it. And that's the the other thing they need to understand it. So anyway, um, I want to talk about activity now. I already mentioned uh, you know the companies out there are virtually all going down because the virtual activity averages under five percent. Okay, we had a woman on the Zoom training some time ago, I asked her how many people she had in her organization. She said 500. I said, well, that's, that's great. How many of those are active? Got real quiet for about 10, 15 seconds. And she said, 10. Folks, that is typical in the industry. What I'm gonna teach here pretty soon with our system tech uh, and uh, app and technology, you are going to be able to do in two to five years what took me 25 years to do. And it's so simple that anybody can do it. See, there's only two elements to building a large business. You've got the vehicle, which is your company, your product, and your marketing plan. And see, you can have the hottest vehicle in the world, but you're not going to go anywhere if you don't know how to drive it, okay? And when you know how to drive it, you understand network marketing. Now we have a simple uh, analogy that makes it easy to understand. If you owned a brand new Lamborghini or Ferrari, 
would you let your best friend go for a drive around the block and if they didn't know how to drive, okay? Well, my wife and I, we did seminars in over 35 countries, asked hundreds of thousands of people over the years that question, 100% of the people say, no way would I let anybody drive my brand new Lamborghini or Ferrari if they didn't know how to drive, okay? Well, look what's happening in our industry. People recruit people into their business to sell. And they'll spend days, weeks, and months trying to recruit someone who doesn't want to sell, how to sell, and so forth. They don't spend one minute teaching the person how to drive, okay? So what you're going to learn here, like I said, you're going to know how to drive. You go through our system technology and so forth. And you're going to really understand what you should be doing, you know, to, to build a very, very large business. Another quick analogy is that once you understand what I'm going to teach you in a few minutes, it's like you can hand the keys to the vehicle to a person and they can get started like today and start building business today. Going down the freeway, sponsoring and teaching and building their business. And uh, note this, that while they're building their business, they can learn about the company product and marketing plan. People who think they're recruiting people to sell, okay, uh, they think they've got to learn all about the products, the company, everything before they can even talk to someone. And that's why it takes them a long time. Now, we have a, a simple secret to doing all this. And that is we teach people not to talk. The more you talk, the more people think they can't do what you're doing. And the more you talk, the more they think they don't have time to do it. So anyway, uh, we have our app and system and technology. And I'll show you how simple this. We have a hat that says, own your life. And um, we also have a pin or on your collar, whatever, it says own your life. And if you don't have the hat or the pen, I'll tell you exactly what you would say. So you're having a conversation with a friend or someone that you just met. Thanks, uh, Dana. <laughs> and uh, anyway, during the course, well, first of all, with the person that you just met, don't even do what I'm gonna teach you with that person until you've made a connection with them. Okay, because if you haven't made a connection with them, ask them some questions, get to know them. They, you know, they, they can talk to you and ask you some questions. They can get to know you, make a connection. But if you don't do that, don't waste your time. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about talking to strangers, because when you see how simple this is, uh, you're going to be amazed how many people you can talk to. Because once you understand that this has nothing to do with selling, that absolutely anybody can do it, you've got more people to talk to than you'll never ever get to. Okay, so anyway, you're talking to a friend during the course of the conversation, uh, simply ask them, hey, have you ever thought about what it would be like if you could own your life? And that's having time, money, and your health. Uh, most people do not know anyone that has all three, okay? Um, so bottom line is that young people, millennials, if they're making say 60 to hundred thousand a year, you know, they have a little bit of money, but they don't have any time because their job commute things they have to do. Their health's okay. Older people have a lot of time, but they're running out of money and their health's going bad. So it, it's a simple question. How would you like to be able to own your life at a time in your life? when you could enjoy it. What can they possibly say? They can say, Don, I just want to keep my stupid, dead-end, boring job, work the rest of my life, and end up broke. Or they say, gosh, that sounds interesting. Can you tell me more? Now, what I just did was completed the first step of a three-step system. Folks, it takes less than one minute. OK, one minute. Uh, compare that to days, weeks, and months trying to teach people how to sell. Because if anybody can learn that one-minute presentation, they can build a business. In fact, they don't even have to learn it. 
you know, they can, uh, you know, listen to the recording of our Zoom call here three times. They'll, they'll get it. If they still can't get it, they can write it down on a three by five card. Okay. So what is the person going to say? Gosh, Don, that sounds interesting. Can you tell me more? So now we go to step two. Now, step two, very simple. All we do is we tell them, if you want to own your life and have time, money, and health, you need to understand network marketing. So I'm going to send you the first five chapters of the best-selling book in the world, sold over 11 million copies, so you can understand it, and I can send it to you by print or audio, or both. <laughs> so what would you like? That's it, folks. Now, why is audio important? <laughs> well, you know, people are getting to the point where they say they don't have time to read. Well, so you can go to any town in the world during commuter time and look at the traffic. 90% of the vehicles have one person in it. And that's usually someone that hates their commute, probably hates their job, going to work the rest of their life, end up broke. Okay. Now, they can take the book with them with their mobile device in their vehicle and they can listen to the five chapters while they're on their commute you can listen to them while you're fixing dinner while you're jogging while you're exercising walking it's just all kinds of ways a person can change their life while they're listening to them okay now i've been in the industry for over 50 years the biggest excuse in the history of our industry that people use to get you off their back <laughs> is they tell you they don't have time. Folks, we don't need their time anymore, okay? It takes one minute, that's it. And they can listen to the thing while they're on their commute. And now, what, once they've uh, had the book and read the book and so forth, the five chapters, you know, then they're ready for step three, where I have my, Partner Jeff Rimaldi demonstrates our app how you uh, you know can send the five chapters all over the world. Now, what I want to do before I get to that is that you know um, if you think right now about buying someone a book, because before we had the app system technology, people would buy my book, okay, and they would buy five books, ten books, twenty books, quantity of books. Now. See, I want you to figure out what that would cost today to buy a book and send it to somebody, okay? Uh, first of all, you pay for the book. And then unless you live next door to the post office, you've got to mail it to them. Well, unless your gas runs on air, you got to buy gas to go to the post office, okay? Now, in California, where I live, it's already $7 a gallon. It's going to go up more, okay? Probably get to 10. So you've got to add that to the cost of the book. Now, it takes time to get there, to there and back. That has value, okay? You've got to add that to the cost. And then um, you mail it, you buy the stamps, of course. And they're going to get it in five days unless you send it overnight. And then you're going to have to add that to the cost. So let's say you send it to them. It takes them, let's say, five days and they receive it. You call them up and say, have you received the book yet? And they say they did. Okay, that's great. Have you read it yet? They say they did. They didn't read it. They lied to you. Okay, that's what we call cooling off. Because it took five days for them to get it. They've already lost interest in that five days. See, now with our app, that cannot happen because while you're talking to them on your mobile device, you can actually send them the first five chapters of the book. Okay. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to ask them if they read it because you already know they did. Uh, and well, the reason you're going to know that they did, because you're going to love this, that when they start to read the book, the five chapters or listen to it, you get a ping on your mobile device letting you know they started to read it. Now, if they hang up before they finish the five chapters, you will get another ping letting you know that they partially read it. 
Well, when they pick up their phone and go back to read some more, you get another ping letting you know they're back reading it again. And when they finish reading it, you get another ping letting you know they finished reading it. So when you, you uh, how cool is that? You could call them like maybe 15, 20 minutes after they finished it. You don't have to ask them if they read it because you already know they did, okay? And you know they're excited or they haven't finished reading it. So we're, we're totally excited about the app and we have the new edition of my book and app will be out here very soon. And I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. So anyway, um, the um, third step with the app, my partner, Jeff Rimaldi, he links his phone to the computer, shares the screen and demonstrates how you send it out. Okay, and there's about seven different ways it can be done by technology. Now, you're gonna really love what I'm gonna tell you now. And that's the cost of the app, because for less than what it would cost you to send out one book, you can send out unlimited books every month for $25 a month. That's absolutely amazing. So it's something that is going to save people a lot of money. Well, you can still buy the hard copy of the book. In fact, when you get the app, you're going to get the new edition of the book. Uh, and you're also going to get it in audio. Now, you can't send out the whole book, just the first five chapters, but a lot of people want to have the uh, hard copy. So we have a store that's going to be on the app that'll have the books, the hard copies available in quantity discounts and so forth. And they can also get the hats, the pins, and um, we're also going to come up with it. This was Adriana's idea. I'm well known all over the world for wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I don't own a suit, but I have 400 Hawaiian shirts. So she suggested that we get a cool design of a Hawaiian shirt with Own Your Life on it, and that'll be in the store too, okay? So now, once they've you know gone through everything on the app, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later, uh, then they're ready to go to the vehicle because now they know how to drive. Never, ever, ever tell them anything about your company, product, or marketing plan until you, they've gone through the three steps and they understand how to drive. If they ask you, well, you know, because these conversations are so brief. In fact, from the time you do the one minute presentation till the time they're ready to go to the vehicle, your total talking time is less, probably less than eight minutes. Now, compare that to days, weeks, and months people spend trying to teach people how to sell, okay? Big difference. And uh, also look at your time. It takes 20 seconds. It's a learning curve. Once you have seen the demonstration how to do this and you've done it yourself three times, okay? Uh, you're gonna be able to send the five chapters out to anywhere in the world. It's gonna take you 20 seconds. Okay, compare that to when it used to take people time to go to the post office and back. So anyway, uh, they're ready to go to the vehicle and you do that the way you've always been doing it. Now, if they were to ask me, you know, what are you selling? What's your products? What's your company? And I tell them I lose, okay? Because if you tell them the name of your company, for example, they're gonna go to Google and they're gonna look at your company and they're gonna see all your products and they're thinking, they're gonna to have to learn about all those products before they can even talk to someone or they think you're trying to sell it to them or get them to sell, you're done. So very seldom will anybody ever ask you that. But if they do, all I tell them is look at, if I were selling anything, it's just an opportunity to, for you to own your life. Okay, now, just for the fun of it, those three steps, what I've just gone over with you, took about like right around 20 minutes, maybe 22 minutes, okay? Folks, anybody can learn to do this business when they understand that has nothing to do with selling. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take a photo and then after that, we'll go to questions, answers and testimonies. So if you have any questions, you can, if you don't wanna, you can speak up, we'll unmute you 
or you can just write them down, send a chat to Adriana and she'll do it for you. But uh, the reason we stop the, the uh, video here after, you know, by the time we're through the questions and stuff is that if, if it goes too long, then when people uh, can't send it out to people because they can't open it. So we're gonna go ahead, Adriana's gonna take a photo and let me tell you, first of all, why we do it. When we started doing the Zoom calls, you know, uh, someone asked if they could take a photo and we said, fine, not a problem. Then someone asked, can we take uh, and post it on our Facebook? And I said, well, not a problem as long as you don't mention your company or product. So what happens here is that people are sending it out to a thousand, two thousand, three, four, whatever they have on their Facebook. They've been in Facebook for many, many years. And they have many people on their Facebook that were in network marketing with them years ago, but they're all gone now because none of them wanted to sell. So you want to get those people back, or at least some of them back. We do the uh, uh, apologetic approach. Okay, real simple. You call this person you haven't talked to in five, 10 years, and you just they answer the phone, you say hello, and you say, I'm calling you because I want to. Apologize. You notice how powerful silence is? Well, they're going to say, gosh, you know, why are you apologizing? You say, well, remember when I got you into that network marketing program all those years ago? Well, see, I, I want to apologize because, see, I didn't know what I was doing. Be honest, okay? I was trying to get you to sell products and so forth. That's not network marketing. It has nothing to do with network marketing. I went to a training with one of the top trainers in the world on network marketing, and I learned that it has nothing to, to do with sales. It's a process of duplication. And I have a Zoom training that runs less than 30 minutes that if you'd like to look at it, you can understand what we're doing now. And if I had known what I know now, what it did back then, you would have already been retired years ago. Because once people go through the Zoom training, they can see how they're gonna be able to own their life, have time, money, and health in like say two to five years. So anyway, just that's it. You know, They either want you to send it to them or they don't. And, you know, it's a big deal if they don't, because you might have 500 people you're sending them out to, and uh, you could pick up a pretty good, pretty good bench. Of them. So we'll go ahead and take the photo. And, you know, this is totally exciting because I tell you, we got so many people shopping that normally there's always a few people that don't have the picture of. This is 100% today, Adriana. We got photos. Yeah, yesterday, yesterday we have even, even better because everybody on our Zoom was in hats. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, okay. Yeah, that, that, that was great. But we did have one person that wasn't on the photo. Yeah. So all we need to do is smile and. Okay, so let's up. do the photo smile, thumbs up, or, or I don't know, hearts yeah. or whatever you want. Okay. Three, two, one, smile. Thank you. Got it. Okay, so now. We're ready for questions, answers, and testimonies. So, not, not ready. Wait, I have to uh, stop the recording. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, save the photo. Okay. Mm. 